Alright guys, welcome back. In in the last couple tutorials, we learned how to connect with Instagram, and we also learned how to get the user's name, but I got a little bad news for you. You really can't do much with the username with the Instagram API, and the reason for that is because whenever the Instagram database identifies a user, it doesn't use the user's name, <clears throat> it actually use a user ID. And the user ID is associated with the username, but you need this user ID to pretty much use everything in the database or the API. So how do we get this user ID? Well, let me go ahead and show you. So make a comment, I'll put get Instagram user ID. And we'll just make a simple function called get user ID and also from here on out this user ID is what we're going to be using to get all the pictures and everything from the database not the username so of course since we have the username already that's the information we want to pass in username so we're going to be giving it the username which is in my case the new Boston and it's going to be returning my user ID which is I don't know what it is yet and I have an itch in my ear but oh well so the very first thing that we need is a URL. Not this one, but I'm gonna steal it for right now. And the URL is apiinstagram.com slash v1 slash and the parameter for whenever we wanna get users is of course users. I'm just gonna type out the query like I did last time. And what we wanna do is we wanna search for users and where is the, can you find the freaking Q on my keyboard? The Q parameter, which I'm just gonna set equal to XXS for now, this is the username, why they named it Q, I don't know, maybe for a query or something. And the next thing we need is, of course, the client ID to verify that we are who we say we are, and I'm just gonna set this equal to XXX as well. So of course now what we can do is since we passed in this username and remember this is pretty much equal to the new Boston right now. I'll just close out this. And I'm mixing double quotes with single quotes which is never a good idea. So basically right now are you are actually I'll do this client ID real quick. Let me give you guys some breathing room. All right. Actually, I want to tighten that up, but that's what she said. So basically, now our URL is user search Q is equal to the new Boston, and we can append that with our client ID, which is this, and that just lets um, the Instagram API know and the database know that we are uh, registered developers. We do have access to your database, brood roasted, and give us what we want. So now that we have that URL, all we need to do now is connect to Instagram using this and check out how easy this is. First, let's store everything in a variable. And we'll just name this Instagram info. So any of our results that we get, which is in this case the user ID, is going to be stored in this Instagram info variable. And now if we just set this equal to connect to Instagram, basically connect give us this information which is the username store in Instagram info but remember the results are encrypted so we need to decode them or encoded should I say <laughs> results equal see if I could steal this from somewhere actually that line looks pretty down there alright so the results are equal to JSON decode but this is our variable. So now our nice, pretty results that we can work with are in this variable right here, results. <clears throat> so what we can do is actually just return this results and how to pull the actual user ID from it is it's actually stored in data. By the way, did, did you guys ever see uh, the movie Her? There's a joke, and it uses the word data, and that's what I was thinking about right now, if anyone is interested. Anyways, I'll shut up now. In ID. 
So basically, what we said is, hey, we have the, the user's username and we want the ID. So this is the URL that I get it from. I want to connect with you. Okay, you gave it to me. Okay, this is how I display it. So right now, it's just returning it, but if we want to, we can actually print that out. So instead of echoing the username, what we can do is... Actually, let's just echo this. Instead of returning it, just for testing purposes, we'll just print it out on the screen. And I guess we can just go ahead and... I don't want to echo too much stuff here. So echo... <laughs> I definitely could have typed this like a thousand times faster. Alright. So, I guarantee I just like copy and pasted like a thousand things incorrectly, but we'll see how this goes. See if I miss something. Done uploading yet, Haas? Alright, so first, let's start here on 63. Where are you at? 63. Okay, I missed the semicolon. Anything else? All right, so I'm logging in, logged in. It converted my username to a user ID. Boom, there it is. Apparently, my user ID on Instagram is 184-289-291, if anyone was wondering, and I'm sure you were. So now that we have that user ID, we can do things like get images, finally. It's going to be awesome. And actually, in the very next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to print and pretty much get images from Instagram and print them out right on your web page. So, you know, it's definitely going to be a lot more interesting than that. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, yada yada. Check out Bucky's Room. It's, uh, you know, the best website ever. And, oh, look at this ad. And I'll see you next time.